Never did we think Puffco would make such a quick switch on us with a updated Puffco Peak Pro atomizer chamber where they've changed the actual ring size around where you'd actually put in that pry tool. So it's not exactly my fault why I failed. Sorry, RC, but let's go. Now, before my Reddit post got taken down, Puffcoil was nice enough to chime in and say that their pry tools were ineffective for newer atomizer chambers that did not come standard with the Peak Pro when purchased. So, big difference here is the Peak Pro's original chamber has a thinner ring for the ceramic top, so it is possible to pry it off with one of those tools. Unfortunately, I had already done a video on that with you guys, just seeing how first started out with the unicorn tips, we were trying to clean off that jazz after it failed. From there, we went with a torch cleaning while it was all put together, didn't separate it or anything, no disassembly, totally fucked it. Still doesn't work, but it is looking like JC Vapor is going to have a couple new silicone pieces and as well atomizer toppers, chambers, so we will be able to do rebuilds with any of our defective parts, so save them. Don't forget them, that is something good. Both these companies are willing to send out new pry tools to anyone who got the old pry tools. You'll have to contact them directly over Instagram for Puff Coil, and then for JC Vapor, I believe you'll just have to email them on their website. So that is something to keep a note on. If you guys purchased any one of these products, make sure to go back and contact them to get an updated pair of pry tools. So that's pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, that. Catch you in the next one. Peace out, Puffco.